All right. Good morning. I just wanted to add a little bit more to this, uh, what I said about Deuteronomy and the and why, you know, Deuteronomy is, is part of our tradition and why I love it so much. And the issue, though, that we have with the quote-unquote bad stuff in Deuteronomy. The answer I have is as follows. Um, beyond what I said in the previous video, I just wanted to hammer it in a little bit more. How important it is from the Jewish perspective particularly with Judaism being a practical religion. You know, I know the Protestant Christians like to call us legalists, um, but as a legalist religion, quote unquote, you know, and, and uh, why we therefore cannot be a sole scriptura religion. <coughs> because we need, if we only had scripture, we just solely had Deuteronomy and didn't have anything else, so we would look, we, we would be barbarians. And I know a lot of people say that the Talmud is uh, reinforcing this ideology as opposed to putting a stop to it, but if you actually study the Talmud and not just you know, some tracts that were put out by some illiterate Russians in the 1800s and then just got, you know, reprinted and reprinted again. And also, the Talmud is an oral tradition. It's not merely, um, you know, even just reading the Talmud, you're not going to really get it. You need someone to teach you how to learn and to be in the culture and to know it, um, but it's, it is specifically the Talmud and the world tradition that makes us not this type of barbarian culture. If we were solo scriptura, then it would be more, there would be room for this more, you know, scary type of stuff. But we're not. We have an oral tradition that tempers us and teaches us how to be normal, how to function in society, how not to be, um, you know, fanatical. And, and again, to so many people, it sounds the opposite. You know, to people from the outside, they're like, "Oh, the Pharisees—they were the result." We don't. We don't. We never call ourselves Pharisees, except perhaps in an ironic way. Everything that the that that the uh, GPS signal lost that the Christian scriptures say about the Pharisees, you'll find the same thing in the Talmud. The Talmud speaks about uh, you know Marcus Prusim talks about you know the um, you know uh, Pharisees being. Hypocrites, and and that is, it, it, you know, the, the the rabbis are not the Pharisees. The Sadducees called the rabbis Pharisees as kind of an insult, but that's not who they actually were. But the truth is, and even you know, throughout the whole thing, and the whole idea of Judaism, what, what people call rabbinical Judaism, which we consider to be classic, authentic Judaism is, and, and even, you know, already in the Talmudic times, you know, Sadducees were not considered to be part of Israel. They were, you know, read what the Mishnah says, and it, it, it's, when it discusses, you know, Benos and Sadukim, it says, uh, are they going B'darche Avoseim or B'darche Yisrael? GPS signal lost. B'darche Yisrael. You know, meaning that the Jewish identity is tied to rabbinical Judaism. It would have been the Sadducees who would have been the, and I've said this before, you know, like, uh, talk about, uh, in the, in, again, I don't mean to be preaching Christianity, I'm not preaching Christianity, but 
I know a lot of the Christians are familiar with, you know, I, 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 the way I, I'll bring this up is, you know, the, uh, what's the guy, um, Matt Walsh, he also makes videos in his car, well, usually he's not driving though, but, uh, Matt Walsh, in one of his articles, you know, he was saying how, you know, uh, what does it mean, uh, he was without sin, cast the first stone, and he said, you know, he was just saying that the Pharisees at his time were being too strict, but the fact of the matter is the Pharisees were, you know, critical Jews, would never be stoning people like that. That's not how, that's not, uh, that's first of all not the mode of stoning, it would, uh, there's so many things that are wrong with that story. However, the Sadducees, who were the Solo Scriptura people, probably did. And the answer that, you know, uh, Jesus gives in the end of the story is a rabbinical answer, it's a Talmudic answer. Um, you know, which kind of goes along, I think it was what Hyman Maccabee has, has said, you know, the uh, Jesus the Pharisee theory, you know, that type of idea. And again, I'm not I'm not promoting Christianity and I'm not demoting Christianity. Christianity is a fact of, you know, world culture. Um, but it is, you know, it, it has more in, in line with rabbinical teachings, you know, that it does, you know, this is something, you know, People very, misunderstand very much. Uh, so this, is, but but the point of what I'm saying is, if you didn't have the Talmud and you only had Deuteronomy, yeah, that'd be pretty scary. That'd be that would be that would be uh, you know people stoning each other in the streets. That's that's what the Sadducees were. The Pharisees never did that. The quote unquote Pharisees, the rabbis, the rabbinical authorities. That wasn't. You know, they said if someone is executed once in 70 years, it was too much. They they really opposed the death penalty and saw it only as a as a um, you know a, a, a what do you call it like a, a a last resort deterrent against murder. Even though the Bible lists so many death penalty sins, uh, but but we there was, it was very very rare for anyone to actually be executed for committing any of these sins and and in the eyes of the Chazal, in the eyes of the Talmud <coughs> the sages of the Talmud um, was pretty much that murder should, should be used uh, should be the only thing that someone should get the death penalty for death penalty should be used very sparingly and only really as a deterrent against murder that will, that's the Talmudic view. So it's, but what's all this in the Bible? All the, the Bible says all these things are death penalty. It says, yeah, but the Bible also says by two, by virtue of two witnesses is, is a thing established. That's what the, the 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 rabbis say. Words of Torah are, are poor in one place and rich in another place. You need to have a holistic approach to Torah. You can't just, you know, take one verse out of out of context and make a whole theology out. That, that, that's a, a stronger part of my answer. Thank you for watching. God bless. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment. Thank you.